This episode is sponsored by National Technology Management. Visit TrustNTM.com for more information. I'm Kelly Siegel, and this is Harder Than Life, a podcast about self-love, self-awareness, business, and health. We tell outrageous stories and boil everything down to simple, practical advice you can start using today. Let's get living. Welcome back to a very special episode of the Harder Than Life podcast, my Seagulls. It's special because I have two of the very best with me today. They both are making a reappearance on the HTL podcast, but this time together. Adam Jamblin was on episode 35. And Dr. Rob Kelly, very recently, episode 66, are here on your Apple Top 100 podcast in self-improvement and education to discuss the Neuro Hero Conference at the Norris Center in San Antonio, Texas on Friday, April 19th and Saturday, April 20th. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, man. Great to be here. Thanks for having us, Kelly. Adam, we'll start with you because you're my brother from another mother, and I love you very, very much. And you guys can just, we'll, we'll bounce back and forth. But can you provide an overview of what the attendees can expect from the NeuroHero Conference? It's like nothing else. Uh, you know, you put Dr. Rob and I together, and Dr. Rob is a master at the neuroscience, hired by the biggest celebrities' names that, that you know, also a recovery expert. And you put that in with the hero's journey. Right. And you actually show, you actually show and demonstrate and have the audience participate how they can change their brain while going through their hero's journey. So in two days, they come in Clark Kent, they walk out Superman. <laughs> Microphone drop right there. Dr. Rob, you want to elaborate on it? Cause you got you, it's just fantastic. So when, when we come across his idea, Adam and I, uh, we wanted to bring a conference like no other, cause I've been to conferences, man. And, you know, the guys on stage is like, he wants to be a millionaire. Say, I want to be a millionaire. Write down, I want to be a millionaire. And I'm like, oh, my God. Is this what conferences are about? So he wanted to come at a different angle. He wanted people to walk away from that, them two days, prepared to change. And change either there or the next day. None of this BS of, you know, in a couple of years, you work hard for two years. It's like, no, no. Neuroscience tells us that we can change today. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're talking about change. We're talking about a hero's journey. We're talking about all this amazing stuff that you're going to get today. We're going to show you how to build your business, how to run your business, get your brain right, get your your, your timing right, get get to be disciplined every day. And Adam's amazing on this. The discipline is something I lack in, you know, obviously. But yeah, neuroscience, discipline, hero's journey, and we're just going to blow everyone's mind like we did at the first one. So this is Neuro Hero 2. And I'll tell you something now, tickets are going fast, guys. So you need to jump in before you're very disappointed because you need to be there. <laughs> you know, and that's uh, that's a great uh, segue. It is at the, the NeuroHeroConference.com. You can get tickets. And I want to personally vouch for Adam because I went to his first ever event and he creates, he cultivates this family environment where everybody gets to know everybody. And to this day, I was texting with uh, Katie Wood last night, helping her. And I met at your first event. I've kept in touch with every single speaker. Uh, and I got to tell you, this is a must see. And uh, I wish I were uh, available that way because I would definitely be there. But let's get let's dig in. These next two questions are going to just cult, go to deep, deep dive into what you guys just said what inspired you to organize a conference and what are your goals for it? This time we'll start with you, Dr. Rob. Uh, what decided was just both of us working together uh, very successfully with this combination. We've worked with several patients together that got well. And here's, here's the deal. We're not doing this for money. You know, if you look at the ticket price, by the time all the expenses out, you know, we ain't making nothing from this, just like our books. You know, so that's why we come up, let's do something big. Let's get enough information and help people change their lives, help people focus on um, on life because everybody has a, ch has a chance to be, to be a winner, to be a leader. And, and one of the reasons why people don't uh, take that gauntlet and run with it is because they don't feel it good enough. So when we look at, you know, past behavior is never good enough, uh, it is a big one, never tall enough, thin enough, blonde enough or rich enough. That's what a lot of people carry around. The conference is... To not only show you how to do it, but show you that you can do it. And there lies the huge difference. There's a big gap between wanting to and doing. So what I always say to people, and I know Adam's used this a few times, is while you're at home, guys, listening to this, wasting your time, people are dying out there. 
get your shit together, whether it's building businesses, building families, whatever your uniqueness is to change the world, because if you're not changing the world, go drink and use and do whatever you want to do, because you're not changing the world on a daily basis. Why are you here? Why are you trying to get sober? Why are you trying to do a comp? Whatever it is, do it today, because you, you don't want to have time, guys. You think you have time. Moms, uh, I'm waving them off to kindergarten. Next minute, I'm waving them off to college. You don't have time. What do you reckon, Adam? Yeah. So again, again, tell you, let me even double down on that. You know what? What really have I have a profound respect, profound for the medical community. When it comes to coaching, I'll put myself up against anybody, but I have a profound respect for the medical community. And I had a couple of clients that I, I knew that I had to stay in my lane, and I needed Doctor Rob. I really needed Doctor Rob. And when we got together, and we worked on this client, this one succeeded. Then this one succeeded. Then this one succeeded. And we started seeing like, okay, now we have the evidence. Three people, five people, seven people. Not, we said, you know what? This is not just for the one-on-ones. This is for the masses. You know what I mean? There's something special here. The first conference proved it. So here's number two. How did you two meet? Because I got to tell you, I've gotten to know you both. And Adam, you and I go way back and I just adore you. And, and I've gotten... Just the, the authenticity of Dr. Rob. You, just, you couldn't lie if he, if he tried. How did two of you guys meet? Doc, may I? So we, uh, we're, not only are we very proud of our careers, but we, we both got um, clean and sober in a 12-step community. And there are these things called non-sanctioned. So we were invited to a non-sanctioned uh meeting where it was all the biggest A-list celebrities, people that can't be in rooms because of how big they are. And Dr. Rob was the speaker. So we were in there and I was hearing Dr. Rob and, you know, you're, you're around, uh, you know, really, really credible names. Let's put it that way in the industry. And I was dealing with a client that was a little bit above and beyond my pay grade. There were definitely some things going on neurologically that I could not understand, Kelly. I just couldn't understand. This was beyond removing alcoholism addiction. This was beyond you know changing patterns. This was beyond going through your hero's journey. This was like I needed a doctor's. I needed a doctor. So I said, Doc, I have a client for you. Truly, like I have a client for you. He said the only way I'll work with him is if you stay if you stay on with me. That guy crushed it. And then it, it, then it just became, it, it became like a hamster. Like people just kept going and we just kept doing it together. So th that's how we met though, in, in, a, in a sacred fellowship. Dr. Rob, does humility come with sobriety? Because Adam exemplifies, it, 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 it's his humility, I, I aspire to be Adam. I want to be as good looking as him someday, but his humility reigns supreme. So does, does that come with sobriety? Because no, uh, not always. You know, and I, and I am, uh, I used to be one of the biggest in that. Hum humility was something I had to learn. Um, and uh, it took me a long time to learn it. I mean, these days, I, I think age as well. You know, the time you're around, you realize it's not about you. I think that's big. And, and if you're willing to keep them fit in the trenches, you know, humility comes. And uh, I'm loud and brash and aggressive and people say I'm flashy. And, and that's okay. You know, that's, that's their opinion. And, 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 you know, we know about opinions. But I am who I am, uh, but I, I've learned it over the years. Mm. And uh, it, it, it betters my journey, that's for sure. But people are quick to watch your ego, watch your ego. You know, my ego went when they took my children off me. There was no ego there. It was a fight to the death trying to get back. So you stay humble always is what you have to do. Always, in everything that I do, on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, what can I do for you? Keeps my humility in check. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot again because I just recently remember, I we just had you on our live podcast for uh, recent, and you, how I know you're humble is you, and how I know this isn't about the money is you specifically gave an offer that I'm going to put you on the spot to make the same offer on this one because we're really talking about this. And remember, I want to go back to this. It's the NeuroHeroConference.com, the T H E. So I, I said NeuroHero. So, so go there, get your tickets. But you had offered, you said that it's not about the money. And if you text you and you want to come, but you can't afford it, you would. And I said, I threw Adam, I said, Adam, a lot of that too. <laughs> so would you just throw that offer back out? This just proves who you are as, as a, an amazing man. 
first of all, I mean, what we do is, is good. And obviously there's a price with that, um, depending on uh, the, the care and the amount of care. But, you know, everybody in my company has to carry a pro bono patient. End of story. If you're not carrying a pro bono patient, you're not going to get patients from me because I delegate who goes to who. So that's one thing that we always do. Because I remember when I first went in treatment, when I was, you know, I couldn't afford going in a, a treatment center. I couldn't afford any of that stuff. Uh, so it's about it's about putting yourself out there, you know. And the other thing I always offer is if you're the guy at home or girl and you're in that broken place where we've all been, I don't care if it's alcohol, drugs, any depression, we've all been in that broken place. I gave my phone number out, 210, uh, 214-600-0210. Call me, okay? Call me, you know, and I'll give you a 15-minute pep talk that will change your life. Do you know something, guys? If it doesn't change your life, I'm going to send you $100 for wasting your time because them feet need to be in the trenches and these hands and head need to be reaching for the sky. I'm the guy who sold his kids out for alcohol. I'm the guy that stabbed his wife three times one night because she wouldn't let me finish my bottle of vodka. That's the guy, not the guy you see on TV, not the guy with the books, the dad, not, I'm not, yeah, that, that's a public image. This guy here will, will, will fly to you if need be to help you. So they're the offers I always give out. And you'd be surprised at how many people don't call, Kelly, because they, 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 when they get older them, find they go, oh, I was just too scared. And, you know, you pick the phone up. I didn't want to be rejected. It's like, guys, I do it for a reason. If you text me, you, you're doing it for a reason. And guys, if you text me and you live around my area, if you text me in the next five hours, I'll pay for you to go to the NeuroHero conference. I'll pay for everyone that calls me or texts me. Whoa. Hey, now. A Adam, um, this guy's infectious, man. I, I, I love conversating with him. As I love conversating with you. What are some key, this isn't even on the questions, but what are some key qualities in the church? What have you learned from Dr. Rob? Because yeah, you're a learn it all like me, and I, I pick after you. What have you learned from him? Well, I think the, the greatest thing that I learned from Dr. Rob, it's, it's not something that you're going to hear on the podcast. It's, it's how to be uh, an unbelievable husband. You know, Dr. Rob is amazing with his wife, Janet, and they run that company together. But it's the way he compliments her, you know, the way he blesses her, the way he edifies her the way he touches her, the way he shares with her. You know, there's something about what we do for a living. But then when you get to see it behind closed doors and you actually see it in a relationship, that's when you really know you're with the real deal. You know, I can't tell you how many people I know that can crush it on stage, crush it on a field, do this, do that. And then you look at the way they treat their wives or they treat their spouses and you just go, you just feel like it was a phony. You know, for me, it's definitely the way Dr. Lobb is with his wife. Wow. That's the highest compliment I think you could receive. And I got to tell you, how you do anything is how you do everything. So uh, I don't believe you can be a dirtbag in one area of your life and, and actually help other people. So that, that is a, how do you feel about that, Dr. Rob? Well, first of all, I was honored and blessed every time Adam, uh, you know, talks to me, but let me tell you, we, we were doing business before we even met and the patient we just talked about, I had to fly over to Boca. And this is my first impressions of Adam. First of all, he's the guy you want to be around. End of story. But again, what Adam just said that people don't hear, I'm going to say what people doesn't hear. So I arrived in Boca Raton and he's waiting outside the airport. Got his beautiful car, he's out, he's hugging me, he's hugging my wife, puts the luggage in. Yeah, won't let me spend anything on meals, anything when they're in my, my town, I pay, with him, you know, but it's his genuine being. I mean, we, me and my wife just, I mean, it's, it's, it's family, you know, we just love him to bits. He's gracious, he's kind, he's powerful, he's gentle. He's, you know, we walk through some stuff of our own together that we're both going through. We talk each other, we Zoom each other, man. And I have not met a person as genuine and helpful and knowledgeable uh, in my life because you look, you look, I don't know, Ed, but you, if you look behind the scenes, you'll see that, oh, you'll see, you'll see a lot of money in his family. And I say that with the grace, a lot, a lot of money, okay? So he could like leave tomorrow and never look in his life. And I think that's powerful. I think that's very, very powerful. Like, it, just that thought just blows my mind sometimes because there's days when I want to go, you know something, screw this, I'm out. 
but he's not, and he genuinely does it for a reason. And Adam is the only person I would work with. And and everybody, every day, we get a phone call trying to team up. He's the only person. And the other thing I want to take away as well is every time I turned up at, at their place, like he's in su such great shape, man. And I, and, and I hated his body for that, you know, yeah. but uh, he is the one. Adam is the one that inspired me to lose 150 pounds over the last 14, 15 months. So I'm in the gym every day. Obviously, I'm 62, but I, I look a lot younger. That's down to Adam, man, because that stuff is like a contagious illness. He infects everybody he comes into contact with his greatness. You know, always, I've never seen him not laugh. I've never seen him not, no, nah, what are you doing? I was like, gives me a kiss. When I first met him, give me a kiss on the cheek. And I was like, oh, my God, it must be a Jewish thing. But I'll definitely do it back to him next time I see him. But it's that brotherly love, man. It's just, yeah, it's just amazing. I can vouch for that as well. I I will call Adam, FaceTime him, as a matter of fact. And, and the move, I haven't talked to him in a month or two, and FaceTime and he'll answer. And he'll be in, on a walk in on the Pacific Coast Highway, wherever the heck you were. And, he, and I'm like, why are you answering? He goes, because it was you. And he knows how to make everybody feel special. And uh, that's what you get when you come to an Adam Jamum event. And I want to, this is a perfect segue to, are there other speakers or presenters that the attendees can look forward to or hearing from? Yeah, there is. I and mean, then we've got a few. We've got a specialist on ACA. We've got a few others that we want to keep to ourselves until probably two weeks before. Then we release it and find out. But we, we have like four or five speakers that are going to come on for 20 minutes each, giving their own stuff. And uh, some of them, are obviously, people know. But uh, I, I just, you know, got on a guy a couple of months ago, or a couple of weeks ago. He's, he's an ACA expert, old guy. You know, the, the history as is just mind blowing. I had to snap him up to be a speaker. But yeah, it's uh, we probably we're probably going to have about four, five at the most to come in and uh, you know tell them their part and what they can do. What it isn't is all these war stories. You know, you're not going to come to our conference just because we're both in recovery and in all, all kinds of recovery and stuff. You know, we're going to get speakers from you know ACA, you know, the adult child alcoholics, some on business, some on sales. I mean, we're, it's just going to be an all round conference where you're going to listen. Here's the deal: if you come to the conference Saturday. And uh, probably Friday and Saturday. If you come to the conference and you don't walk out a different person, as in I'm going to be a success, whatever that looks like for you, best father, richest man, doesn't make any difference. If you walk out of that place on a Saturday, I give you five hundred dollars of my own money. If you walk out and go, you know something, didn't really learn anything. It's kind of a waste of money for me. I'll, in fact, I tell you what, let's make it a thousand. I'll give you a thousand dollars right there if you walk out. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. Adam, how is that going to, are, are there going to be, is it just going to be the pr four presenters or are there going to be like breakout sessions, interactive sessions, workout workshops? How, how is it going to look for people? Like what, yeah, what do that's, I see? That's exactly what we do. Uh, it, it, there's a natural flow to it, uh, which we mastered the first time, but there are breakout sessions. There are sometimes, you know, sometimes we'll do things interactively then Dr. Rob and I do it together. It becomes a ride. You know what I mean? So you're never, you're never just stuck on one thing where it's somebody speaking, somebody speaking, somebody speaking. It's a talk. It's an interaction. It's a little bit of a breakout. It's a little bit of lunch. It's a little bit more of an interaction. It's another talk. Doubling down on the talk with some, you know, with, with some modalities. So it, it becomes a family. With the second day, everybody knows each other. Yeah, there's only so much you could sit there and just listen to people speak. Doc and I bring them the message that they can start participating in, you know, and that's the fun because that we also get to interact with our clients and, and interact with the audience and, and really play with the modalities. What he did last time, Adam, there was a painter there. I still got all his out. And what he did, Kelly, is he, he give paper out and pens and, and, and paint to everybody and to do their own stuff, just draw something, paint something on this piece of paper. So everybody painted it all in the same room. The atmosphere was amazing. And then what he did is he got people to come up and lay the paintings by each other. And he was in such a way that every painting from different individuals connected. It was breathtaking. It was great. Yeah. It was. Wow. It was great. Yeah, again, not to sound like too much of a man crush on Adam, but uh, you know the event that that I went to the through, I I I, I dropped Katie Woods in the I was texting with her yesterday, and Matt Williams on my app the other day. He's been on the podcast. I've had Tim Story. These are all people I met at Adam's event. So the, the again, you're going to 
want to win, you go to this conference. Uh, it, it, sobriety aside, recovery aside, this is a winning modality, I would, I would say. So how, having said that, how do you envision attendees applying what they learn at the conference in their everyday lives? Let's start with uh, Adam again. Well, you know, you would apply it like you do any single thing in life, right? So if somebody goes to a personal trainer, and they learn the exercises. If somebody goes to a business school, if somebody goes into a meeting and they want to, they literally want to learn how to get sober, you literally have the instructions there on how to apply it. And you have Dr. Rob and I that have shown you. Now, to give somebody the discipline, that you can't do. What you can do is give them the spirit. Give them the feeling that the next day they want to do this. You know what I mean? Changing their physicality, changing their focus, changing the way they speak, the way they hear things. That you can do. Discipline is built one step at a time, day by day. But if they do it, they get the result. And man, you exemplify that through your life. If you just look at your Instagram, how many days in a row have you have you done your 5K? <laughs> 430 in a row. You're the definition of consistency. Now, Dr. Kelly, you've got great stories about this. How will, what will these, what will, how do they apply this? I, I know I see you bounce around in your chair. I want you to blast off right now. What are people going to get? Guys, this is how you play. You only walk around at 45 to 50% of your capability. I don't care if you had a hundred million dollars a year or a million or hundred dollars a year. It makes no difference. We're, 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 childhood trauma is what we're going to get into as well. What we do today, the childhood trauma drives that. It drives it, okay? So you might think it's not, but you're at this level. You know, chairman, CEO, music, you're at this level. You're not going to burst any further because you don't have the secret how to do that. We have that secret. Going back to childhood trauma, you have to kill it. The neuroscience that we know to clear that up. So again, guys, listen, when when you come to our, our, our today, we're going to talk about spirituality. We're going to get you in touch with some kind of energy there's the mind, the energy and the brain, mind over matter sits inside the brain. We're going to connect that energy, okay, live with everybody in that room. Join the conference. <clears throat> well, so we got that. We're going to change the way you think. So neural pathways, there are billions in the head. But what's really good is around 350 die every day. We're going to replace them that, that, that two days. We're going to replace them. And you know something, guys? We're going to walk you out of there like a monster because you can achieve. And here's why. When you walk into that con convention on a Friday, you're going to be a different person on a Saturday when you walk out. Well, how can you prove that? When we have a spiritual awakening and a psychic change, your DNA changes. Your freaking DNA is going to change over the two days that you with us. Wait, wait, story. There's not even, nobody can say that. It's, it's the way we do business, man. So if you want to succeed, if you want to be the best at the billion, it's all there for the taking, but you have to clear this up. You've got to clear this up, you know, and that's what we're going to do. It's a DNA changer, boo. A DNA changer, baby. Adam, how are they going to do that in, in plain terms? So the average neophyte, how, how are you guys going to change their DNA? Sure. So look, it's two days for a reason, right? It's not, you have to immerse yourself into the information, right? Now, you start changing your physicality and your physiology. Now you start changing the brain, your thoughts, the language. Now you're also going to start changing the way you focus. Okay? What will happen within a spiritual change is you become a different person. New ideas, new ways of thinking, new ways of behaving. Now, from, you know, I got Dr. Rob, but if you need to go to Dr. Joe Dispenza or you need to go to Tony back in the day or all these people, they will, they will take blood. They will, we're not doing that. We're not going to do the whole, you know, but they would take blood and show you on day one who you were and on day two who you were. And there is a scientific change. We don't have to do the blood samples to do it. We're just going to provide the information. The feeling, the feeling is what you're going to walk away with, knowing that you've changed from the inside out. I, I walked out of yours and I felt that before. And I got to tell you, Dr. Joe Dispenza he measures your brain waves. So true uh, to your form. So he doesn't take blood. He measures your brain waves while they do this. Are you going to have some sort of meditation techniques to do this? Or is this some, something that I, something else? 
No, no, no. We have medita- We have the meditation. We have the art. You know what I mean? We have the we, we have the whole. It's two days. It's two days. We're going to introduce so the brain Dr. spots. Jones. In. We're going to introduce the brain spots in. It's the same thing. We're going to introduce you yeah. uh, to actually changing that. We're going to introduce you. Uh, into somatic experience. We're going to introduce you to neuro-linguistic programming. We're going to introduce you to uh, science of people lying. So body behavioral science is what my second PhD is in. We're going to teach you about that. You know, when we measure, we've done the same test. We measure people brainwave. And this is what we found, okay? So what we did is we stopped two mechanics in a room, two teachers, two scientists. We had about 10, 12 people there, but the other, two of them had the same job. So two mechanics, two standing, but nobody knew what they did. For a living. Well, what was interesting is we wanted to see on what level do people connect. So obviously, when the mechanic met the mechanic and they had no idea that both were mechanics, but when they got talking, what do you do for a living? They were both mechanics. The brainwave went up by 50% when them two met together. When when the doctor met the doctor, the, the, the scientific wave went up by 50%. But, and here's the but, and this is where we're going to get to some real science in there. The highest brainwave that we measured on that day was authenticity. It wasn't vulnerability? Wait, 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 where did vulnerability get into there? Uh, well, we wasn't measuring vulnerability, especially when doctor met doctor and mechanic met mechanic, because all of a sudden you're, you're talking on the same level, same language. So one of the reasons why people love famous guys is because you see them on TV or, or movies. Other than that, it's a normal guy. But because we see it often enough, they become kind of an idol to us. Well, you can do what they do, just that they've got more exposure, face, 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 face. But it's the same with the guys we stuck together. You know, the, 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 the pool attendant, when he met the pool attendant, went on the same level straight away. They connected and zoop, went up by 50%. Now, when a mechanic spoke to a doctor, it rose about 5%. It didn't rise any, any further. So a mirroring part of the brain picked it up. We're going to teach you about the mirroring part of the brain, how to connect with your people. Because what happens when people start to progress up, when the business starts growing, they still want to grab hold of the guys that they started to rise with. You can't do that. And this is what taught us is once you become, let's say, a CEO of a powerful company, you need to be uh, communicating with a CEO of a powerful company because going back to the past, which you can always help. We love them, guy, all that stuff. But you can't operate on that level. We're going to teach you how to stay at this level and grow and not go back, starting with authenticity. Are you authentic when you come to the show? Because if you are, the, 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 the brain waves are going to spike as soon as you walk in. And that's the guy for That's the guy we need at the show. I got to tell you that everything that you just said, I, I understood and all those modalities I've gone through and, and I, you want to see it work. Look at my Instagram, look at my social media, because everything that you just said, I exemplify. So it works. This stuff works. The, the first one, again, neuro, the neuro hero conference.com. Do you, uh, you had the last one was in Florida, right? Yeah. Last one was and in Boca. It, and we're bringing it to San Antonio. That's because it's your two hometowns. Is the next one going to be somewhere neutral? Maybe. Stay tuned. We're going to play. No. <laughs> it's time to play. Yeah. Well, the real what I'm getting at is the two of you are. I, you could talk about underwater basket weaving, and I'd pay to come sit with you guys because the energy is electric, and you, and the smiles are beautiful. And I know it sounds like a man crush because I do. I do have a crush on both of you guys. I love you. Very dearly. That's why we're shooting a special episode. You two are the first two people to make the second appearance on the show. And I, you guys asked me to do anything. And the answer is yes, every single time, which is another shameless plug for Adam's book, Lots of Holic. You want to see vulnerability. Adam shares it really well in there. So um, is there anything, uh, any specific initiatives or causes that the Neural Hero Conference supports or raises awareness about other than what we've spoken about? Is there anything we haven't touched? Well, we have, we have the Rob Kelly Foundation. We, we've just started that. And that will fund anybody going to the conference. The names will be kept. You go through some hard times. The Rob Kelly Foundation dot org. Uh, this will be supporting the Neuro Hero Conferences. So we're always trying to give back. So, you know, some of the money that we take tickets, it won't be a lot because they're not 7,000 tickets, uh, dollars a ticket, though they should be. Some of them we take from there, we're going to actually use for people in, in, uh, in recovery or people just struggling. Like the other week, we, we got a guy, he wasn't really alcoholic, just got depressed, lost his children, and he had the opportunity to go to court and, and fight for his children once, once, one day a week. So what we did is we bought him a suit and we, and we Ubered into court. 
So when he turned up looking half decent, the judge didn't grant him one day a week with the children. They granted him two days a week because he looked so good and he was clean shaven and, you know, he's, he's taking care of business and we paid six months uh, rent on his apartment. So the judge has no check. That's the kind of stuff we did. Kelly, by the way, just, you know, I back that. That's the, I want Dr. Rob to answer that because that's, that's really one of the only foundations that I know exactly where the money goes and I've seen the lives change. Do you know what I mean? Everybody and their mother now has a, you know, has some form of a nonprofit. You know what I mean? And you don't, you really don't know where the money goes. You really don't. I've seen exactly where the Rob Kelly group puts their money. Well, I gotta, I'm got i going to just put the price out there. It's, it's, it's 250, right? Yeah. And so it's 250. I'm going to an event that's in Dallas in the same weekend. And just the, 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 my event is 800. And that's, so 250 to learn what they're going to learn is nothing. And it, you guys are putting your money where your mouth is and your authenticity just reigns supreme. Again, I'll even throw it out there. If somebody messages me and wants to go, I'll throw in the 250 because I believe in these guys tremendously. This is going to be life-changing. And, and anytime you're around the two of them, it's life-changing. So having said that, no, my pleasure. Anything, anything listen, sobriety, Winning, living your best life, peaceful life is everything I'm about. Uh, and the three of us have all been in the dumps. And you look at us, look at smile, 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 looking great tans, looking good, all manicured. It ain't always been like that. I remember looking in the mirror and I was drinking puffy and blotchy skin. And, and I didn't think I was hurting anybody. Now I'm helping. We used to, you know, I, I, we're, we're, we're all selling hope help one person every day. So having said that, besides the authenticity that you guys, uh, that you guys exude, uh, how can you, how do you plan to ensure that the conference provides a supportive and inclusive environment for all attendees? I asked this question because there could be some nervousness of somebody who's coming. We're trying to make it as easy as possible, but I want, I know you too. Not everybody does. How can we make it? We'll call it a safe, an inclusive space. Because we have family running it. I think that's the bottom line. It's our family welcoming your family. So nobody walks in that door and uh, looks around and goes, who, who, who? no, you don't. You get greeted by one of our people straight away. And you'll be you'll be walked over to a group of people having coffee and go, hey, this is Jenny, everybody. Hey, Jenny, come and sit next to me. So you're feeling welcome. And that's very important. And, and where we got that idea from was, again, uh, when we first met Adam. It was that welcome. It was that we love you. Come and sit. We'll do it. You know, it's amazing. That's how we want uh, the people are coming to feel. So whether you like it or not, you're going to get hugs. Whether you like it or not, you're going to be brought in and introduced to everyone. And then you're going to have a fantastic time. Uh, just let yourself be happy for a couple of days. Get happy permanently. But yeah, we love everybody in. It's not. It, 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 there's nothing cold about this. You're never going to be on your own. You know, no matter what walk of life. In fact, whatever walk of life you are now, I've been through. You know, if, if you're homeless, I've been through it. You know, da, 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 I've been through it. You know, me and Adam both go through everything. So we're going to be on your level straight away. We're going to hang around the door, by the way. We're, we're, you, we're not the guys behind the stage waiting to come on. We're, you're well, they're not, we're not, we don't do that. We're going to be there welcoming you, giving you a hug, introducing to our wives. It's our family helping your family. That's what it comes down to. Adam, do you say this? You, you answer that question. You're going to answer it with, who you are, and then I got a, a follow up question for you right after. Uh, what's the question? How are I, we? I, 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 want, I, I want to ask you because I know you, I, I don't want to steal your thunder because you're so kind and warm and giving. So just give your your um, thoughts on on how you're going to make it warm and welcoming and safe for people to uh, come and enjoy their enjoy the event. Well, Kelly, that that's that's the whole nature of our business. Do I mean the idea is to welcome you? to make you feel safe, to make you feel loved, to give you the hope, to literally, you know, people are coming in, it's like they have a fever. We have to lower the fever, make them feel okay, comfortable, so we can get to the causes and conditions of why they're getting stuck in life, why they're going through self-sabotaging. Exactly what Dr. Rob said, the childhood trauma. You, you can't just dive into that. You got to feel the love within the room first, lower the fever, and then create a safe place and a common language so we could do our work. 
lower the fever. That, and I specifically put that question in for you. And then I heard your tonality drop and me and be slow. You're a master at that, Adam. And, and, and then we're going we're to continue down that. And I want to say, what advice would you give to someone who's considering attending the event, but it isn't sure it's a right fit for them? Doc, you want to go first or me? So you're considering going to the event, you have no idea if it's a right fit. So if you're struggling financially, emotionally, maybe with the kids, maybe with the spouse, maybe you broke up with someone. If you're struggling mentally, you keep doing the same thing over and over again, right? You're struggling spiritually. You have no true connection to a higher power, to God, to the human race, right? You're struggling in life. What better way than to do the neuroscience that you understand is now in every te- television station, every reel you've ever seen, the neuroscience, and finally go on your hero's journey, right? In a loving, warm, supportive, but enthusiastic atmosphere. Dr. Rob, you want to add anything to that? Yeah, I mean, 100%. Even if you're coming, oh, when you're thinking of coming, you don't think it's the right fit, just message us. You know, come find us, Facebook or something, messing us. And I'll tell you what we're going to do, because we're, we're a bit like fluid. You know, you've got to, you've got to be fluid with these people. You can't have a set routine that you go through. So, you know, if you come and let's say you're suffering from an eating disorder, you know, if you let us know that that's your, that's your deal and that, is it a fit for you? Well, we're going to get a speaker on, on that as well. So you'll find that every disorder goes back to childhood trauma and the surroundings and, and, and trauma as you, as you go through. So that, that's the gateway drug is, is childhood trauma. So whatever you're going through, we're going to include to make you feel welcome. And again, you, I, I'm going to give you $1,000 if you don't like it or you hate it. So it's a win-win situation. Jump on the plane, couple of hundred dollars. you got nothing to lose, you know, but just feel. The, the problem with today's society is when we go through something, we think we're the only people going through it. And when you, oh, it's the basis of it, Alcoholics Anonymous and everything, it's, it's Alco- meetings are never going to keep an alcoholic sober, but the, 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 the camaraderie, you know, the, the oxytocin, the serotonin we get from speaking to other people is what you're going to experience when you come down. Because I can categorically tell you now, no matter what you're going through and a little bit worried about turning up, there's going to be at least five people that are going exactly what you've gone through. And that's really uplifting to think that you're not on your own. So we can do everything we want to do, but it's the friends you're going to make. It's the contacts you're going to make. You know, we have some some guys that are starting a Neuro Hero uh, chat somewhere. I, mean, I don't think me and I have never seen it, but it's that welcoming, that warming. That, let's get some oxytocin flowing around. Let's be intimate with another person, not sex. Just intimate. Then. Come out, walk around, get with people, get in the sunlight. We're going to take you outside. We're going to put feet on grass. There's a whole new topic on that. Get some dopamine going. Uh, let's get you some sunlight. Uh, let's get you some exercise. We're going to do that breathing exercise that we always yeah. talk about. So all four chemicals are going to be buzzing. So no matter what you suffer from, I was in the same place. But I'll tell you something, this. This is the deal. When I used to walk in somewhere, I used to open the door and I used to worry who likes me. And maybe that's for you guys. Maybe that when you're scared of coming, you're opening the door, you're walking in going, I wonder if anybody likes me. You know, on the second day, you're going to kick that door down and go, huh, who do I like in here? That's the difference. So come along, feel welcome, feel humble, just pray with us, do anything. It's going to be an amazing weekend. That story uh, completely resonates with it because we could sit here and tell our stories and we would, it would all be the commonality. Uh, and, and, and you nailed it on the head. I didn't expect anything less. Again, the neuroheroconference.com. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there are some testimonials. So I want to specifically ask you, can you share any success stories or testimonials from the first conference? Go on. Oh, my God. Yeah. So there was a young man, Ty. He came. Uh, he didn't know what the hell he was going to do with his life. He had, ju- he had literally just stopped working at a treatment center. Now he opened a cryotherapy place three blocks away from me, from the courage and the confidence that happened at the Neuro Hero Conference because he, he didn't understand how to take a risk. He was scared to take a risk. I know a guy that literally was our uh, film crew, our film crew. He started having one-on-ones with Dr. Rob during the conference, during the conference. The guy, he, he, was, he was a two-man operation. He's now a 10-man operation working with some of the biggest influencers on Instagram. 
Do I mean on and on I can go. I've gotten notes from doctors that Dr. Rob had there just telling me how much we influenced their lives, how much we influenced their son's life. That was a shock. So, you know, if it's, if it's their finances, if it's their career, if it's within the home life, it's their spirituality, if it's the family dynamic, it just hits all things. You know, that's why I love the neuroscience and the hero's journey. You know, we're the only two to put it together. I love, it. I love it. I love it. The ripple effect, all that stuff that we get. Yeah. One of the doctors Adam talked about, uh, there were two doctors that were married. One's gone on to yeah. do a fellowship. They were scared to death of going to do a fellowship. But listen to this, Kelly. The, the, doc, the husband doctor introduces to his daughter. Now, his daughter's 16 years old. She has now, she's great at school, but she's now got an acting position with Disney. So the knock-on effect. It's like when you walk out of there, you believe. When you walk about there, there's no negatives. There's no nothing. So again, I could probably name six that I personally know of that attended that's gone on to do great things. Because if they didn't, I'd be giving them $1,000 back. And no one's hit me up for $1,000 yet. But we've tracked every single one of them. Our girls tracked them. They're doing really well because that's what it's about. You can you can go to all the conferences you you you, you want to go to. I've seen people going, following people like, you know, a year, two years, three years. Nothing's changed. You keep paying your money. You keep going back to these people. What has your quality of life changed? Is your relationship with your daughters, your moms, your, has it changed? Has everything improved in your life? You know, has it? And and the and the answer has to be yes with ours, because if it's a no, what the hell are we doing? And I think the other thing as well with our conference, and and I don't know other people because I don't follow other people, um, is that we want you to be welcome, obviously, but we want you to be somebody. We want you to feel as if you can be somebody. So we're not bringing you down there to sell you anything. That's the other thing as well that I just don't get. You know, come to the conference. We've got all these books. We've got these courses and everything. We have books. We have courses. If you want to do that, great. Get in touch with us. But we're not going to throw it down your throat while you're there. In actual fact, with our books, Adam and I books, they're free. Don't have to charge you anything. Come down, man. If you like what you see, you know, we do coaching courses. We do everything like that. Jump on. Great. But we're not going to... We're not going to bribe you with that, you know. Well, here's here's something that you need to know to get better. But to get the final bit, you know, you have to sign up for our next cup. None of that bullshit. Yeah. Kelly, let me tell you a story real fast. So at the end of the conference, I had some guy pull me over and he, and he, literally he's like, so this is where you and Dr. Rob should be selling right now. This is your time. This is where you and Dr. Rob should be selling, you know, your course or your coaching program. Like, this is it. And I go, man, we don't fucking do that. Do you know what I mean? They they know where to find us. You know what I mean? We we, we know we understand sales. We we get it. We we know exactly if we wanted to, we would. We don't fucking do that. You know what I mean? And guess what? They reached out. You know what I mean? If you give the service, they reach out. You don't need a pitch. Adam, how can uh, people find you? Because he said to message you. You do you follow Instagram mostly? Yeah, whatever Instagram, you know, TikTok, oh, you know, social media is, is really where you can hit me up. And it's Adam Jablin, Adam yeah, J A B L I N. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, Dr. Rob is the addiction doctor. It's addiction underscore doctor. On Instagram, yeah. yeah. And you want to give yourself, you want to give yourself a number out just because you love doing it? A number out? What do you mean? I'm just messing with you, man. I love tell you me, guys. Tell me, tell me, I'll um, answer. I don't, I don't mind. I just, I didn't get that one for a second. Give me a number. No, out. I said, do you, do you want to give your cell phone number out one more oh, time? Oh yeah, man. Two one four six zero 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 two one zero. If you're struggling at all, man, or you need any advice on what Adam and I are doing, especially if you're struggling, text me, man. Make, make a text, and I'll get it, and I'll text you back straight away if possible. But then I'll arrange a phone call. Maybe it's me, maybe it's Adam. We'll give you a twenty minute pep talk. It will change your life. Otherwise, we'll send you a hundred dollars. That's what it's about. Who else does that? Who else offers a money back guarantee if you don't like it? Who else is going to give you $1,000 if you go away not changed? Who's giving the personal phone number out? I don't see anybody of these guys giving a personal cell phone number out. Authenticity. Again, authentic. are you authentic? Are you in this for the right reason? Because if you're not, I, I don't mix with them guys anyway. I, I, I don't get why, you know, millions of people follow Jimmy and, and 10 years later still following Jimmy. And it's like, what have, you, what, what have you changed? What have you done? You know, stop chasing idols and stop become an idol if need be. Because, you know, it's all about, it's not about you. It's all about other people. So can you change lives? Because I'll tell you what, just speaking to anybody. So I want to ask you a question, guys. So there was a guy uh, who, who was going to commit suicide. So he walks to the Golden Gate Bridge. 
and he threw himself off and he died. When the police pulled him out, they found a wallet and they found his license and they went back to his house to search the apartment. When they opened the apartment, he walked in, there was a letter on the kitchen table. And this is all about being you guys after you come to the conference. There was a letter on the kitchen table and it read word for word, I am going to the Golden Gate Bridge and I'm going to throw myself off and commit suicide unless somebody talks to me or says hi on the way. Let me ask you a question, guys, listening and watching. How many people have you walked past today walking to the Golden Gate Bridge? You see, that's what you're going to learn. You're going to learn that communication, authenticity, connection with another human being, connection with, with the spirit that you follow can change people's lives because it's not about you. How many people have you walked past today that's heading to the Golden Gate Bridge, guys? I asked that question specifically because I know the two of you care uh, more than than anything in the world. And I want, if you're 50-50, talk to either one of these gentlemen and just a five-minute conversation, they will have you convinced to go to this because it is life-changing. And just being around the love and energy that each one that I have personally felt is worth it. So again, I love you guys very much. I love what you're doing. And Adam, we're going to end two, two final questions. Is there anything else you'd like our listeners to know about the Neuro Hero Conference or the work you're doing in this field? Well, yeah, the main thing is I would want them to come and experience it. You know, that's the, the, that's the main thing. There's a reason that it was called for a second. You know what I mean? That, please come experience it. Enjoy these two days. You know, there's no, no other people are putting their money where their mouth is. And, you know, we started at the bottom. Drugs, alcohol, pain, tragedy, divorces. And we got to where we are now. You know what I mean? So if there's anything, just please come. Enjoy the moment. Be a part of the moment. It's a privilege. It's an absolute privilege. Dr. Rob, same question. Yeah, you know, guys, I want to tell you something. When we better ourselves, when we understand ourselves better, when we find out what we're suffering from, because most people don't, your life starts to take off. Four years ago, my eldest daughter, Charlie, got in contact with me after 30 years. We hugged, we, I went over there straight away. This is the benefits of knowing yourself and knowing the power that you have. I went over there the next day and she handed me my three-month-old granddaughter. And I've always been saying to Adam, my youngest child, Abigail, one day, one day, one day, you get the power to walk through this when you come and see what we do. But a week ago, Abigail contacted me on Messenger. So I'm in touch with both children now. Now, why am I telling you? I'm pertaining to a conference because this is what we're going to show you. We're going to show you the resilience. We're going to show you that if you do good things, good things come back to you. Karma is real and the mirror effect of the, of the brain is real. We attract what we used to think we were worth. Today, come to the conference and attract what you know you are worth. I put a post up today that said, I will sacrifice who I am today for who I want to be in the future. Um, I'm always trying to get better. And I believe you two exemplify that. Uh, Adam, I got one, one more question. You know what? No, hold on. Dr. Rob, I'm going to ask you this because you asked me this on your podcast. If you could be somebody for one day, who would it be? Oh, Schwarzenegger. And I'll tell you right real quick, guys. I'll tell you why real quick. I met him back in the 70s when he came over. Uh, Pumping Iron was just out, underground movie. I was a bodybuilder. I got to pick him up from the airport. Well, I was sat in the hotel room because this, this later got me into the neuroscience and belief what we can do. I said, Arnold, the body's great. You look fantastic. You know, you're conditioning and you're, you know, but when this goes away, what are you going to do? Kelly, Adam's heard this. He said this to me in very, very broken English. Not like he is today. Very broken English. First of all, I'm going to become the highest paid movie star in the world. Well, I fell off the chair laughing. I couldn't even stay on the chair. I was laughing. Okay. I said, okay, well, it's, I've got three things. So what's number two? He said, I'm going to be a governor of a state in America, preferably California. And, and I was like, okay, what's the third one? And he said, I'm going to marry into the Kennedy family. Check, check, and freaking check. Uh, you're, you are worth every dollar. You're worth the price of admission. I'll ask you one more thing. She said, I didn't realize you were 62. You don't look, I mean, you look really, really young. What do you, where do you see yourself at 70 then? What, what, what do you, where, let's fast forward eight years. Where are you, what are you going to be doing? 
I'm going to be doing the same thing with more experience. I will never retire. I will never step down. I will always be helping people. And even if it's a, a, a house in San Antonio or a house on the beach, it makes no difference. I ain't going anywhere, guys. I just get wiser every day and working on myself. I just want to tell you that I'm grateful you're in my life and I'm glad I met you. And I, I got to tell you, it, it bombarded, like social media wanted us to meet. I think I, I got introduced to you by five different people and then we found each other on social and it's just boom 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 so i'm grateful you're in my life and i look forward to doing more things with you and adam i'm going to end with you because you're my brother and i just i think the world of you as well uh if you could leave the listeners with one piece of advice what would it be give me something profound that just be yourself and whatever is on your mind whether it be about the conference or not you're just such one of the deepest thinkers I know. Give me something. So one, one piece of advice for our listeners would be, it, it's something that I have to practice every day, every day. Be in the moment. The power's in the moment. You know, be a mystic. Be a, an absolute mystic. They said the greatest power Michael Jordan ever had was he was constantly here now. He didn't worry about the shot after he didn't worry about a shot he was about to take. He was constantly hearing that. When I'm here with you guys now, that's where all my power is. That's where my connection to God is. That's where my joy and my happiness is. When I'm somewhere in here going to like, I'm over there. I'm worrying about her. I'm worried, I, I, I just get crazy. So if you're wired like me, like a human, be in the now. Truly, truly be in the now. Because that's where that's where all the gifts are. That's just beautiful. I, I see this necklace around here. I, could, it, I don't recognize it. Is that new? Is there a meaning behind it? Oh, I got this in 2006 when I was in treatment. Really? Yeah. This has been on me since for almost 18 years. Oh, it re, it's a reminder of, of what you went through? Yeah. Yeah. It's very near and dear to me. As episode number 35 of Hard and Life, go back and listen to it. Adam just bears his soul. So, gentlemen, uh, neuroheroconference.com. Uh, you got to see, you got the cell phone numbers, you got the Instagrams. Uh, I, I will let you know when this thing's going to air. I love you very much. I know it's going to be successful. Please include me in the next one. Anything I can do to support the cause, you got it. And I love you very much. You're doing great work. Please rate and share this podcast. I'm active on all social platforms and love to hear from my Siegel supporters. Each and every episode is sponsored by my company, National Technology Management, the easiest and best IT company to do business with, delivering peace of mind with technology every day, even simplifying cybersecurity. Visit trustntm.com for more info. Until next week, be harder than life.